Welcome to our Lenten Reflection. We are now in week five of Lent. Each week we have been looking at two of the stations, different ones each week, going along to get through all 14. And this week it's the ninth and the tenth station of the cross. There's a prayer that said, when you look at the station, and there's an answer. I'm going to give you the answer. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Say that, please. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Yes, in that prayer, we say because of your holy cross. It was Jesus' special cross that he was carrying, a special cross because it would help save the world. He would be the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He would be the hero that takes all the blame for our sins. He would be the one that said, I forgive them, and I have the power to do it. Father, now forgive them because... You see what I'm doing for them. So Jesus is there under the cross. He falls again. He can see the finish line, though. He can see up the hill where they're going to crucify him, along with two others. Two others are robbers. He notices that he's being crucified with two robbers, as if he's a criminal, too. He's been accused of of wanting to uh, rival Caesar and, and, and maybe take over the world or take over the country. Those are false charges. What he really wants to do is have you let him take over your heart and let him live inside. That's the ninth station. The tenth station, if you've ever been really humiliated before, and you might understand when if everybody laughs at you, I know that some people have been humiliated if their clothes are taken off or they're caught with their clothes off when someone sees them. It's humiliating. This happens to Jesus. He is stripped of his clothes. All you see left is what's called a loincloth around him on the cross. But Jesus is, is laughed at, spit at, and they even gamble for the clothes they take off as a joke. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Third grade, the fifth week of Lent. Okay, children, the fifth week of Lent, page 259, be reconciled. Faith focus, why is it important to forgive? And there's a picture of a priest, and there is a penitent, okay, someone coming to confession. This is when it's real private, and you're in a reconciliation room, okay? Sometimes you're further apart, and the priest doesn't necessarily have to touch, but he blesses you with the sign of the cross, okay? That's what he does. And, of course, people come in and they're sorry to God for their sins. And sometimes they also need to think about how they'll forgive other people for their sins. You know, people come into confession and they'll say things like, oh, you know, uh, there's things that happen in my family that get me upset or I think is wrong. And I, I'm up, you know, I feel like they sinned against me. And I was like, oh, well. But we try to encourage them to forgive their family, right? To forgive them. Oh, there's this lady. I, the, she, she, uh, she was saying, Father, maybe I should go to confession. I don't know. But but I live next door to somebody, and they're a senior citizen, and I am. We're like, we're like grandmas, old-time grandmas. But like the other grandma, she's like at night, at like around 10 o'clock at night, I hear her like talking really loud. And I'm getting ready to go to sleep. And she's talking really loud in the next room. And sometimes I can hear her voice just a little bit. And it bothers me. 
and I get upset. And so I found out what was going on. You know what was going on? The lady next door was talking to her family who lives far, far away, and she has to talk to them on the phone later at night because it's earlier there. And so she has to talk them late. And plus, old people, they, uh, they can't hear as well. And sometimes they talk really loud, too, <laughs> thinking that we can't hear as loud. And that's just the way they, they act, right? So I said, oh, they're just talking to people far away. Maybe you could let, them, let her know that maybe there's certain times of the week that it'd be better for her to talk late at night and really loud. And those two ladies will easily get along with each other. They're neighbors. They want to help each other. But one of them had to forgive the other, and that's where the priest comes in. I try to help people learn that it's important to forgive. So I know that St. Joseph's feast day is coming around. March the 19th is the feast day of this saint. So he's usually somewhere in the middle of Lent. When his feast day comes up, it's a special day called St. Joseph's Day. So I'm thinking about Joseph every day during my Lent. So St. Joseph, help me to know that it's important to forgive. Be reconciled. Let's read it together, and I'll read it out loud. Sometimes a friend hurts our feelings. Forgiving that friend can be difficult, but Jesus shows us that God is always ready to forgive. We must always be ready to forgive also. During Lent, the scripture readings remind us about God's forgiveness. God seeks us the way a shepherd seeks lost sheep. God rejoices like a woman who finds a lost coin. God welcomes us home the way a father welcomes his wandering child. During Lent, the church invites us to celebrate God's forgiveness. The church encourages us to celebrate our return to God through the sacrament of reconciliation. When we have been lost and alone, God rejoices at our return. God welcomes us back. We find peace with God and with one another. And boys and girls and parents, you know, we have confession available through the church. Just check our bulletin or call us up. And before you come to confession, um, this lesson here, Mr. Stever is going to read to explain to you that's a good one to read before you uh, and a prayer to do before you come to the to your confession during lent this is the best time of the year to go to confession by the way and the priests are expecting to see you it is a good one you can do together you can look at the readers and see how many in your family are going to pray this together and assign them a leader maybe you can be the leader or if you want a parent to be the leader, and then you have enough for reader one, two, three, and four, or you can give a couple parts, depending on how many in the family are praying together. But it says, in a prayer of petition, we ask God for forgiveness and the help to live as children of God. Pray this prayer of petition together. So as Father Barry said, it's a good prayer to do because you're asking forgiveness. And it's always good right before you go to have your reconciliation. And other words you're, you know them by is confession or penance. And so that this would be a good thing to do together as a family. As we close, we ponder the sacred wounds of Christ. Here is a model of the crown of thorns that they pressed into Jesus' head. And here is a symbol, a replica of a nail, similar to the one that was put in Jesus' hands and feet. 
young people the five glorious wounds of Christ that he would keep on his body after he died and rose again where on his hands or wrists as portrayed here and on his feet keeping them onto the cross as you see in the cross on our table and then the one in his side to his heart this depiction here has his sacred heart um, there's a song oh sacred heart so wounded uh, it's a beautiful song in Lent and there's songs about the crown of thorns and about our Lord's suffering Mary and John the Apostle and some others watched him die on the cross and Good Friday at the end of Lent is is the culmination of all our prayers well lastly when Jesus rose from the dead he showed his marks and wounds especially up close to st. Thomas the Apostle and he saw it and now Jesus alive and risen and he said five words and I'd like it to make our closing prayer he said my Lord and my God and so let's say that three times okay friends and then we finish my, my Lord, Lord and my, my God, God my Lord and my God my Lord and my God peace to all of you thank you